Pages of books are numbered. The number on a page is its name, so a table of contents is a book's by data or its family tree, even pages aren't a road. If my skin was paper, it would tell a story of a girl within a broken home, just like a shattered heart. If your heart is shattered, just make art with the pieces. But it still seems whole. It constantly beats. Every light hum the drum of fingers that are not meant to caress, but to hurt. And you say this is full? I think my mom just wishes to see the rainbow beneath my skin. Every hit is as though she's searching for the end of the rainbow. She's driven by the voice of a demon. She's letting free and I don't complain because every hit adds a best block to the walls of my mind within. But soon enough, there's no space for me. I'm a widower. I was married to the paper. A paper chase, not a paper chaser, but a student. I knew that having an education was equivalent to having a key where school was a factory and teachers were key cutters. Keys made uniquely by a mass of minds that constantly fiddle with gold. But there's always one that's unlucky, whose goal is switched with copper, a key that would have lasted longer if it were in the form of wire. So I bent my key, but it broke. And so I choke on its deadly flakes as I sink beneath assignments, missing its due dates, I'm no weight lifter. And so my soul is more than enough for this weak body of mine to carry. But the strength that I bear was never measured by the size of my muscles, but the size of my heart. I want to be my brilliant dead brother at home. When my father teaches me to follow my dreams, so I practice sleeping. I see no reason to lie. No, eh. I is a youth now, eh? More like a young man. But the first thing that I hear before I sleep is a symphony of many gunshots rising to crescendos. Those bullets define me. I just want to be pleasing to the masses. Listen, work on yourself. Try to get this lingering voice out of my head. I am a son. And a brother to my brother in the mirror, which passed away by the disease which causes bald head and slim skin. But his mind rose in the face of my parents, even though they never noticed him, but I did. And objects in the mirror seem to be closer than they appear. I want to be him. Actually, I want to be like home, like a broom, sweeping only the good words my mother says to consume them, while the voice behind my head is telling me, sweep the rest under the rug. But why? This mother of mine Spits puddles of poison into my face. Rolling words, tongues of pain like a broken record, a broken record. I see a target. A silhouette, sorry to say that this silhouette is a rubber silhouette, a target. A mother that's worthy of a bullet just to spray pews into her church of her heart. For every man that ever hurt her to sit on and watch her service of her life run before their very eyes without even sleeping. I see no reason to lie. Mom used to tell me that love is a sunset orange. But this world told me that orange isn't orange without a little red being set onto the floor. Those were the words of my father. Something that came out of his mouth other than the smell of cannabis. Our, our past, past has created the structure of our present. present. And so our stories comply with the essence of who we are. But, but it's, it's our, our choice, choice to change. To choose to become better than our very circumstances. And, and to, to find, find bliss, bliss in, in our, our struggles. struggles. Thank you.